All right, so today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on removing the upper burr carrier. It's super simple, and so it'll just take a minute or two. First, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. I'm gonna give it two full turns of the dial just to make uh, the tension, it's easier to undo the tension on the screws when there's less tension on the springs. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen these in a cross pattern. So we're gonna do one, then another, then another. And we're just gonna continue to do this until you don't feel any spring tension left. And since we loosened up the collar to adjustments, it's really pretty fast. Now, after you do this, you're gonna take off the top spider, the adjustment ring. And then make sure that you don't have any shims stuck on the bottom of the adjustment collar. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to actually put a screw back in wherever we have shims. And we only have shims on this one post. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. And then this is kind of a, um, a little bit of finesse. It takes a little bit of practice to do it. But you're just going to stick your hands here. And then you're going to quickly but gently pull up and make sure that you pull straight up and out. So there you go. The bird carrier comes right off. There's the upper. And here's the lower. You can go ahead and sweep out any of the little fine bits of dust. Um, go ahead and make sure that these are cleaned off before you put the machine back together again. And you can use your brush to just sweep down the dust. And then when you put the machine back together again, you can just turn it on and make sure to get the rest of that out. Go ahead and give that a good sweep. And this surface right here is not a critical surface, so if there's something left on here, it's not a huge deal. Um, your critical surface is the top of these posts. Those are the things that you need to keep really clean when you remove this for cleaning. And then of course you wanna make sure that this inner ring here is clean um, as it fits very snugly right here inside the carrier. Um, older of the lower. So what I'll do is I'll actually mark the top as well so I know which side is facing the front. And you're going to just go ahead when you're ready to put this back on. You're going to take this whatever screw out that has the shims and of course I just drop the screw. So make sure you gather up your shims and put them back on the post however many there were. You're going to put that back on there. I'm going to go ahead and set this back on really gently and this is a little bit tricky so you want to make sure to get it really well and centered and then you can just gently kind of wiggle it on if you can't wiggle it on you can certainly take a soft hammer or a mallet and just kind of tap and one corner or more will start allowing the carrier to go down you don't need to give it a lot and then you can go ahead and just Give it a nice little press, it's back in. Again, you wanna double check this surface, the bearing surface, as well as these two, these four surfaces. Um, make sure that the bottoms of your carrier are clean. There's a little dust in there, so I'm gonna clean those off. And then we're gonna go ahead, and you can just, you can honestly set this however you want. So if you wanted to set it at zero, you could turn it to here, you could turn it to there. You know, if you're doing a lot of pour overs, maybe you want to set it to here, but it is important to just double check alignment again um, if you are going to move that. And then we'll gently tighten each of the four screws, and we're going to bring the screws, you know, we can tighten them until they touch the top adjustment ring. And then we're going to do the opposite of what we did, taking it apart. So we're going to tighten one at a time. And if you try to do one screw all at once, the carrier will not actually go on properly and um, it's going to give you some trouble. So again, just do one, one, and I'm doing approximately half turns on each of these. And when it is engaged, you'll feel it. 
so I can't turn any of these anymore and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good snug tighten again just continue to do opposite corners and to double check that you put everything back together again you can just go ahead and check your alignment so we're gonna bring this back down and our lock point is at set at zero right now so of course this band can be moved but we're gonna just double check that our absolute lock is zero and it is so now we can go ahead and back it back out and we can turn the grinder on and we can just double check our touch point and make sure we're still aligned in the same way so we'll go ahead and turn the grinder on and we're going to tighten this down to see and we're right at about seven that's great and you're done grinders ready to use again